welcome back my peeps uh, I got a really quick quick uh, tutorial for you guys but it's something that I haven't seen a tutorial on and um, <clears throat> when I made my my donuts I used I made like a coconut donut and what I used to make the coconut was um paper clay. I took paper clay and I used one of these, a grater, and grated the paper clay. And that's how I got the shreds. But you know, in the video I had asked if anybody knows of a better way to do it, let me know. But I really didn't get any good feedback or answers or whatever. So, but everybody did keep telling me about using a grated, like a wax candle, grated, and that could be your coconut. And yes, it does, you know, simulate coconut. It does look like coconut, but um, I'm scared that it would melt. Like, I don't sell my fake bakes. I just make fake bakes for my YouTube tutorials. But I know that some people do sell fake bakes. And I would hate for you to sell somebody a fake bake and it had um, grated coconut on it. And for some reason, it got hot. And the wax melted. And just ruins the fake bake. Powering off. So that... Is a reason why I personally wouldn't use wax but I experimented and I came up with some coconut it will not melt once you put it on your uh, fake bakes and it's gonna last for a long time what is it well you're gonna need some polymer clay I use Sculpey 3 or you can use whatever you have. I like Sculpey 3 because it's soft and it don't hurt your hand when you um you know when you're massaging it and uh trying to get it to mold into shape. And <clears throat> so this is I got translucent Sculpey and a piece of white Sculpey. I'm only gonna use like half of this, so that's like two sticks of this um clay and we're gonna mix it up and uh, once i mix it up we're gonna grate it right oh boy all right so let's get to mixing so this white clay is not sculpey brand it's actually like a target brand what is it called craft smart or something like that but it's, it's good it's still all right so what i'm gonna do you don't have to do this but just so it mixes evenly i split it up and uh now i'm gonna mix it up I'm gonna move this out the way because i'm gonna use my table to help me massage it and get it mixed up really well. And if you have a, a I mean, if you make clay, or, oh, Lord, I'm over here breaking everything up. Um, some people use a, 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 a pasta machine, you know, to get it mixed up and stuff. I have a pasta machine, but I don't want to get it. <laughs> so I'm going to just do it by hand. So if you look at it, you see that it's two different colors. This is the translucent, and that's the white. Still need a little bit of mixing to go. But <clears throat> I made a batch already, and I actually gave it away to someone. Um, but it did look like coconut. So I figured I needed to make some coconut because I'm making a a fake coconut eggnog and uh, I wanted to put some coconut on it 
so here I am making coconut. But I think I know this thing keep moving. And even if I put a piece of something underneath here, like you know, to help it from stop moving, it still moves. So I don't know what to do. Just gonna mix this up. Takes a while for it to mix up. Make sure you mix it up really well. You don't see any more translucent and it kind of becomes one because that's what you want. Right? Which I think I did a pretty good job. Let's see. Yep. So now what you're going to do, right, is you're going to take it and you're going to roll it into a log, a thick Ugh, dog. Poor icy cup. And my, my cotton candy done fell down. Alright. So once you get it into a log, I have a piece of parchment paper down here. I suggest you do the same in my tray. And now I'm just going to gr grind it. <laughs> great, great the um well it work it'll work if I, if I grade it on on the right side right i'm like i'm like why isn't this thing grading so you see that you don't want it to be too long even though after it uh you put it in the oven you can break the pieces up it doesn't it, it really doesn't matter but it's best to just do short pieces You're going to break this up anyway, so you'll see. Once I put it in the oven and take it out, just try to, you know, get it all over the, um, the, uh, ugh, the parchment paper. Just take it and keep on grading it. You grade as much as you want, as little as you want. I don't really need that much right now. So I'm about to pop this in the oven. I'll tell you the temperature right now. But even though you follow the temperature that's on your on your packaging, if you want, you can spread it around a little bit. See, this is kind of like a big lump, but it doesn't matter because once you bake it, you're going to crumble it up. And uh, it's going to be just fine. Let me make a little bit more, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to put it in the oven so you guys can see what it looks like. And you guys let me know what you think about this. I think it, it'll look, it really looks like coconut. But you're going to see anyways because I'm going to put some in the oven right quick. It doesn't take that long to cook. Cook your, you know what I'm saying. So the package says, right on here it says, if I could see it with my blind self. Where is it? Oh, here you go. It says put it at 275 for 15 minutes. But everybody's oven is different. I'm going to put it in my oven at 250 for like seven minutes. That's what I did last time and it came out fine. And that's what I'm going to do this time. So. I'll see you back here once this comes out of the oven, okay? Okay, my peeps, so I'm back. I put the clay, the bottom of clay in the oven. And now I'm going to break it up so you guys can see how easy it is. You just, look, just take it, 
break it up. And is polymer clay cheap? No. Is polymer clay expensive? No. But, I mean, if you don't want to spend the money on it, that's fine. But I didn't even use a whole bar. And look at all this coconut I got out of it. So it does make a lot. If you mix, like let's say you get one thing of translucent and one thing of white clay and you mix it up. You will get a lot of coconut. I didn't even use the whole packet. Because you, you guys saw how much I had. And this is how much it made. Because I finished um, grading the rest of it. Before I put it in the oven. And look. Look. So no. Polymer is not cheap. It's not expensive. It's like $2.50. Sometimes you can even find it for $1.99 a block. And if they have it in a sale. You can get it for cheaper. Hobby Lobby usually has it for like 30 or 40% off. Like every other week. So you know. You could get some from there. Um, But. I mean, candle wax is cheaper, but I'm always scared of that whole melting thing. I don't want to ruin a fake bake. Like, you make a fake bake, and then it gets ruined because it gets melted. And I hope that you don't sell, you know, a customer wax, and then it gets ruined. Because if you have an F Etsy shop, they'll leave you, like, a bad reviews. And I don't know. This is just another option. Polymer clay, it doesn't change color. It's not going to melt. And it's going to be great for your fake bakes. Look, this is how I look. See that? Just like coconut. So I'm going to put my coconut in here. And save it. And guys. Look, it filled up this whole little container. With my fake coconut, which I'm going to use on one of my fake baits. Okay. Just for the sake of it, let's do this. Ooh. Coconut, coconut. Maybe I should take it off of the white. Hold on, let's take it. You can see it better. Huh. Ah, look at that. Coconut. You see that? Simulated coconut. Now you could go on and make your own. Put it on your fake bakes. Okay. This is a little. This is my Christmas present to y'all. Okay. A little extra something something. You wasn't expecting me to come on here today. But I did, and I'm giving you a gift. Coconut. Woo! <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. But you stay safe, healthy, and crafting. And I'll catch you in the next video. God bless you guys. Bye.